I bought a kazoo. This is something that has happened off stream that has nothing to do with battle cats, but. <laughs> I also want harmonica, but I have no idea how to play harmonica. Maybe I'll do like a harmonica learning stream or some shit. <laughs> My plan with returner mode is that soon enough, quote unquote soon enough, I want to have a pause on returner mode so that I'm able to work on other videos possibly. Because there are a lot of other video ideas that I have that is just pretty much blocked off by returner mode. But even then, it's like I might still uh, get into returner mode once in a while, but I'll probably try to do something that is, isn't like super... I don't know, super heavy, I guess. <laughs> uh, mainly the things that I want to do, which is COTC and Prelude to Ruin. Prelude to Ruin, obviously, is because I, I want to get Rock Cat. Uh, COTC, I am very, very close to clearing out uh, COTC. I'm, I'm literally on Andromeda, I believe. And the reason for that is because I, all of these fucking cat tickets. <laughs> I want to finish off COTC first before I roll on these cat tickets. I've been saving these up for quite a while so that I'm able to get a uh, super cap. Because if I, you know, if I get uh, the Silver Gacha Plus, which is the reward that you get for clearing COTC3, then I don't want to, like, re-farm the cat tickets just so that I can get super cap. Yeah, super feline. Sorry, not super cap. I'm gonna get rock cat and I wanna get crystal cat so that I'm able to finish floor 50. This is basically the season 1 finale. It's going to be floor 50. Another thing that I could do before I put a pause on it is also Aku Realms. I actually went ahead and did Hawaii off stream. So that there's literally only Mexico and Moon. And Gigando. If I want to do Mexico and Moon, chances are I wanted to get Rock first, which is why I uh, waited for Prelude to Ruin to actually show up first before I want to go and do everything else. I guess it's just beginning Prelude to Ruin now. What do I bring? I already forgot what the stage is. <laughs> let, me, let, me, uh, let me look up my own guide. I feel like I feel like Courier is just gonna destroy the, st the stage by himself. Oh, I want to bring a Hermit Cat. I want to bring a Hermit Cat. I think Rich should make it way easier but we'll see about that uh should i try a rich list first let me try a rich list first actually by the way while i'm stalling for the timer to go down have you guys seen dolly the ai that like generates images and stuff like that because i did actually like play around a little bit with it lucas the fourth plays battle cats look at that image <laughs> The battle cats, the best Uber Air. Uh, Doll E has spoken. Those, these are the best Uber Airs in battle cats. You can't really convince anyone otherwise. This one kind of looks like Bahamut. Creepy pasta material. It sort of is. It sort of is. This is the Heavenly Tower Floor 60 boss. This is a leak information. Actually, this is a leak information from Ponos. It doesn't even look like in one single unit. Literally, all of these are just separate shit. <laughs> The top right one kind of looks like a frog, I don't know why. The middle one actually kind of looks Heavenly Tower-ish. There's this, this is what every Battle Cats player want, right? The Battle Cats Bosses War, part 752. I don't know, it doesn't really make anything else other than like basic cats, unfortunately. All of them are like just basic cat mutants. It is an AI, you can't really, you can't really do much about it, unfortunately, but yeah. Let's begin Prelude to Ruin. Actually, how much was the prediction? I didn't even see. 41 to 59, all right. That's fair enough, fair enough. I think like a doll E stream would be kind of interesting, <laughs> but... Maybe that's going to be a little bit boring as well, because I don't know. I think Dolly Dolly takes a while to actually load stuff sometimes, so I'm going to have to fill in a lot of the time. Which I mean, to be fair, I am a streamer. I should be doing that. But yeah, if you're interested, just look up uh, just look up Dolly Mini. I believe that's pretty much the keyword here, which would be pretty fun to play around with. It is a pretty fun thing to just fuck around for a little bit. Sometimes it just creates like really interesting stuff. Uh, there are certain prompts that apparently Dolly is really good with. Also, holy shit, we're steamrolling this guy. <laughs> there are a lot of prompts that Dolly is really good with i saw there are people who made like nandoroids on dolly and apparently it works like super well for some goddamn reason and there are things like x in a grocery store that for some reason also works i don't fucking know why that's the case though dolly is definitely interesting to play around with holy what the fuck <laughs> Okay, bye bye. <laughs> bye bye, Amber Cat. I I didn't even pay attention to the stage that much. I guess Courier just completely destroyed it. Uh, there's another one to the Courier compilation. Let's go, Courier. <laughs> the DPS is unreal. Why the fuck did Ponos just decide to give Courier an okay? I think what's crazy is still that like there are a lot of people who have reportedly gotten courier before even like awaken bahamut because i think like a lot of people are on copium that like oh courier isn't that broken you, you need to be like on late game to actually get courier like no people get courier before awaken bahamut this is a thing so yes courier is actually kind of an early game unit you might need a little bit of luck for that but yeah we got stone cat now courier is like daphne but actually good 
I don't, I don't know about that description, but that is that is a description, all right. Right. Let's. I guess let's move on to COTC then. There is something that I want to do actually. Um, I want to shoot from Wendy. Oh, another thing I want to do is I want to shoot from Kaguya as well. Actually, Kaguya has been with me for a while. Kaguya hasn't been doing much on stream, but Kaguya has been doing a lot off stream. Like you, you don't know how much Kaguya has helped me. <laughs> I haven't actually been using Evolve Kaguya much, but to be fair, it's also because uh, her Evolve is really, really, really mediocre. Her first form is, like, way superior. But Chaos Moon is at least a little bit more usable, uh, since her proc is guaranteed and all that stuff. And she actually has, like, quite a lot of decent stats all, all around. She actually has uh, workable damage, uh, workable health, and all that stuff. <laughs> I pissed on the moon! I'm not going for the earth. I'm going higher. I'm gonna piss on the moon! You have, like, 20 Four hours until the piss droplets hit the earth. Now get out of my sight before I piss on you too. What's Kaguya's talent? I actually don't remember. Knockback? Uh, slow? Uh, resist slow? Uh, <laughs> I don't know about these talents. <laughs> All oh, right, I also want to do Windy. I'm actually kind of lacking from all of the fruits that I have. The one fruit that I'm lacking is, of course, fucking red fruit. Because I haven't been doing growing red. <laughs> uh, this is going to be pretty much my other main generals that I have. Right, let's clear off COTC. Andromeda Tree. Should I just use Cat God? Let's see, what would be pretty funny here? I think Seafarer would still probably stay. Uh, I think we can go with this. Let's bring up speed up as well so that we can double up the Cat God timer. Let's just give this a shot first. If we, if we are dying... Then I'll use Cat God Miracle. Oh my gosh, this is this is the downfall. This is the downfall. All of my Seafarer dying. Everything is going to shit. But this is pretty much the perfect time to use Cat God. If we're starting to lose ground, I'm gonna use Cat God. I should probably use Seafarer Talents, honestly. All right, it's time. It's time for God. Let's go. It's time for me to use the Baby Boom. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Seafarer would be the smart choice. I think Seafarer would be the smart choice. But I think Spamming Slime would be funnier. <laughs> Look at that. Jeez, uh, everything is fucking <laughs> Bye bye. <laughs> there we go. What an easy stage, right? Why the fuck do people complain about the drama the tree anyways? It's it's easy. Alright, it's time for black hole. We do have Misley. Actually, can I true form Misley? Yeah, I guess I'll do it. I guess I'll do it. I don't think I necessarily need it, but I might as well, right? I might as well true form Mizzly. It has been kind of a long time coming. Mizzly's in the house, baby. Oh, I could try Cat Tarzan, just cause. Never use Cat Tarzan ever. Cat Tarzan does have like really, really mediocre damage, but Cat Tarzan does survive for a decent amount of time. All oh, right, there's Cat Limit too. I forgot about that. I should probably spawn Mizuridian first, but holy shit. Jesus Christ, I think we have to restart. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't, I completely forgot about the cat limit and was just spamming cat Tarzan freely whoops i actually just noticed like a while ago when i was testing out uh some stuff off stream that like mid actually has a decent amount of rage it's like 400 range i thought it's gonna be like 375 or some shit cat Tarzan is really not doing much is he to be fair he is held back by cat limit because i was thinking of spamming him but that's not really the case that i can do here unfortunately <laughs> i shouldn't have spawned rock Oh my god, Misley just got completely destroyed. How many Meso Cosmic, I wonder? Three? Four? All right, time to speed up. Right, it's time for Cat God then. Gamble? Uh, I don't even remember Cat God Tree being that bad at all. I mean, if you guys want to, I guess. Okay, well, if you want this to be interesting, I can go in blind. I remember what Cat God does, but I actually don't remember what the stage has or what the exact stage schematic is. I could go in blind and then gamble from there. Uh, that might be more interesting. I do remember Cat God having waves and stuff like that, but from what I remember, the wave actually saves you, doesn't it? I don't think I'm gonna bring Misley. Like, I think, okay, maybe Misley's problem is not Misley's syndrome, it's that the fact that she is warp immune. And from what I recall, everything that is warp immune is going to die in this stage. So it's actually better if your unit is not warp immune. Catarzan might actually work well here. B-Train? Oh, B-Train would be a pretty good choice. Because B-Train would be warped off, so it'll be able to do... Uh, maybe able to attack twice. Or... Or... Or, you know what I can bring? I can bring Courier Cat. <laughs> Uh, I can bring Courier Cat. No Chill Cat? Uh, I think we should be fine without Chill Cat, question mark. The music is so funny. I guess this music doesn't really fit, huh? Here we go. Money acquired. See, Catarzan is doing work, sort of. <laughs> or, or maybe it's just Courier, I don't fucking know. <laughs> there we go. Can Can gets destroyed, of course. Everyone survived. Cour uh, couriers are now... 
coming in hot. Look at those courier. He's fucking rushing in like crazy. Jesus Christ, those couriers. Look at all those couriers getting teleported. Nice. All right. Wait, can I bomb rush you? I don't know, how well will this bomb rush work? Oh my gosh, Courier just goes in! Says fuck you, holy shit. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, Courier, Jesus Christ, calm the fuck down. I know, I know you're a god like it, but you don't need to kill god that fast, holy shit. <laughs> Courier, what the fuck? <laughs> fuck off. Yeah, I don't know, man, Courier's just that good. Jesus Christ, <laughs> what a unit, holy shit. I don't see any god around here, except for me. Platinum ticket, oh right, we got platinum, I actually forgot that we got platinum ticket. <laughs> uh, cat capsule plus, right, cat storage increase, and NP, there we go. It's time to roll. All right, we also got belly buster, cat side nebula, all right. How about us a special occasion? I don't want to, uh, I can't use speed of belly buster, because if I use speed of belly buster, it's gonna get copyrighted. <laughs> Kazoo cover, let's go. Honestly, I'm considering that. All right, let's go. Philly bust a nut, that is. Uh, I don't actually remember what's, what's in the stage. <laughs> Hold on. If you want to listen to that remix yourself, here's the link for uh, the Battle Cats Chipped in the Rage by Sarah Singus. I don't, I don't know how to spell his name. It is a really good remix. He made a lot of other Battle Cats remixes as well, uh, if you're interested on that. He also even made like uh, his own arrangement for like some advent, uh, advent stages. It's really, really good. You definitely should check it out. It's really, really good. All right, no, 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 no. I know, I know, I know, I know. You know, Philly Buster is really standing like really behind a lot of stuff, right? You know what unit can actually snipe him even though there are uh, an enemy in front of him? That's right. Papa Luga, let's go. It's time for you to shine, Papa Luga. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> this guy still have like such a good attack animation too. It's like, I know a lot of people already knew that, but you know, I think it's really still worth mentioning. This guy's attack animation is so good, and it's still crazy to me how this guy only has one stage, and it's like the easiest stage in existence. You can't even replay the stage, and this guy has a banger soundtrack. Like, what the fuck? Why did they give him everything so cool, and then they go like, uh, you know what? Uh, let's make this guy like really irrelevant. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Philly Buster deserves the floor in Infernal Tower. True! Also, Nobi Loga, you're good there. Uh, you're still taking your sweet ass time. Take take your time, take your time, it's fine. It's fine, take your time. Where's the Bun Bun? Where's the Bun Bun? Is it timer? I don't know timer. I don't know the Bun Bun was timer. What the fuck? Okay. I mean, more time for me, I guess. Yeah, it, you're, you're doing good, Mr. Clan Hasselhan. You're doing really good, I swear. You're an extremely important part of the team. You, if I wouldn't have won without you, Mr. Clan Hasselhan. Like, this whole team would fall apart without you. You're doing so well, Mr. Clan Hasselhan. Come on. Oh, bitch. Oh, look at that. Look at him attack. Look, Philly Buster is dead. Look at that! Thank you, Mystic Land Pasolan! <laughs> he's doing his best. No, no, he's good, he's good. <laughs> Uber carry. <laughs> oh my god. Honestly, Mystic Land Pasolan has been working a little bit here and there off stream. He, he, he's not completely, completely useless, but yeah. I pray the day you get a true form, and I hope you didn't get what cat got got. I hope your true form goes a long way. Philly Buster should become a Golden Frieza? Oh, that would be good, actually. Uh, but that means you're gonna need Gold Cat Fruit. <laughs> you, that probably means you're gonna need Gold Cat Fruit. But Golden Frieza reference would be really good, actually, yeah. Hey, there's Super Feline. I feel like we haven't gotten a half buff in a while. I know it's. I know half buff doesn't really come that often. We got a lot more last year. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I thought. I feel like last year we got a lot of half off. But this year we haven't gotten a lot of half off in a while. It's a shame you're interested in collapse. I really want Street Fighter back. Street Fighter would be pretty sick. Speaking of Street Fighter, did you guys saw the Street Fighter 6 announcement? That game looks good! That game looks really good! Um, I never actually played Street Fighter at all. Guy with no sunglasses looks cool. Yeah, but guy with a beard though. Have you played any fighting game before? Uh, if you count Smash as a fighting game, then Smash. I never really got into Smash that much. Uh, but the, like, quote-unquote real fighting game that I've played is Dragon Ball Fighters. Dragon Ball Fighters is pretty good. I mean, to be fair, I haven't actually played anything else aside from Dragon Ball Fighters, but Dragon Ball Fighters does make me feel like, oh shit, like fighting games are actually really, really fun. Let's roll for Platinum. This is gonna be another 50 MP, isn't it? Let's go. Oh, I don't know anything about you, actually. 
I can barely remember your name. I don't even remember your name. Like if you showed me this Uber and asked me what the name is, I actually don't know. He's ass, pure ass, terrible. Really? Last time you guys said that to Walker and Walker ends up being good. I don't even know this unit existed. Right. The Ghostbuster. Yeah, it's the Ghostbuster. I remember the animation. I don't remember what he actually does. I guess. Knockback and curse? Wait, what? Knockback and curse? Do you not have a true form? No, you don't have a true form. Okay. Uh, Treasure Hunter who discovered a haunted chest in Sparrow's Mansion. Mini Wave. Ah, Mini Wave with a chance of Knockback, Curse, Princess Aku, and Angel. Ghost Hunter partnering with the Chestbound Spirit to capture Yokai with a high tech Echo Net. Chance of Mini Wave. Chance of Mini Wave. Wait, I thought. Yes. Okay, so it's not even 100%. Oh, but the Knockback and Curse is 100%. I see. If this can curse Lifting, I think that would be pretty funny. Chin Chin Hunter. No, shut up. Is he slow? Oh, he is kind of slow, isn't he? That's kind of weird for an Ultra Souls. No, uh, I guess Grateful Crane is also really slow. That's fair, I guess. He's carrying a massive package on his back, giving him a break. Yeah, but to be fair, so does Courier, am I right? <laughs> I do like the animation. And it is basically Kintaro, right? Wait, what is your range? Okay, I have to look this up now. 250 in baby, 400 in second form. 400 for an Ultra Souls is surprising. Oh, Vulture Souls are like above 450. Shitakiri Sparrow. Okay, there we go. This is the stats for it. 11.k HP. Attack is 5,000. DPS is 2,000. Area attack. Standing range is 250. 30% uh, chance to knock back. 30% chance to curse angel. 40% chance for a mini wave. I see. That's weird. The only guy I guess for Chun Chun Hunter is Permacush Papu. Oh, that would be funny actually. Permacush Papu, huh? Health is 57k. Knockback count is 4. Not bad. Attack power is 4,000. 4,000 DPS, really? I guess you do have many wave, but... Uh, 4,000 DPS on 400 range? That's not good. Recharge time is alright. Wait, it's immune to surge? It doesn't... Sh Why does it not say anything in it about surge immune in the description? I just realized it's surge immune. Okay. So it's surge immune. I guess that's interesting. I can see why it's poo poo pee pee, but I think I can make it work for some stages at least. Yeah, welcome to the team then, uh, Chun Chun Hunters. I'm probably gonna try to aim for Wawa next stream if they are up. I forgot! There is another thing that I ha that I can true form. I can true form Maneko right now. I actually got the epic seed from uh, Infernal Tower and not from Growing Epic. Here we are, Superstar Maneko. You actually look. Pretty good. Superstar Maneko, I actually kind of like her stats. I think it's pretty interesting to have like a 20% chance of mini crit wave. I think it's really, really funny. Let's let's stare at Maneko while the stream ends. That, 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 that sounds really weird. Why did I say that? No, shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs>